So we found progressively increased consumption of high glycemic index foods and also added sugars, which are sugars that are not naturally found in foods, were associated with increased risk for depression. So if high glycemic index diets increase the risk for depression, then consuming a lower glycemic index diet could reduce your risk for depression and could potentially be a treatment for depression. The glycemic index of a food is a measure of how quickly that food raises our blood sugar levels. Foods that tend to have, have a lot of fiber in it, beans, yams, nuts, those have low glycemic indexes where foods that are more processed, where that, all that fiber is removed, white bread, white rice, candies, cakes, sweetened beverages, those have higher glycemic indexes. So when we eat highly refined carbohydrates, we tend to get a sugar high from it. If our blood sugar level is too high, then our body sends out insulin to bring the blood sugar level down to a normal level. Unfortunately, it can bring that blood sugar level down too low. And then we can have a stress hormone response in an effort to bring that blood sugar back up. And that stress hormone response can cause symptoms such as anxiety, difficulty focusing, irritability. When glucose levels to our brain are jeopardized, then it can cause difficulty focusing and concentrating, mood and behavioral changes, and hunger. For millions of years, our hunter-gatherer ancestors consumed carbohydrates that came from whole, natural, seasonal fruits and vegetables. Since these sources of carbohydrates were nutritious, we evolved a strong appetite for sweet-tasting foods. And unfortunately, that strong sweet tooth that we have now is not good given the prevalent availability of refined carbohydrates. We had approximately 70,000 participants in our study, and these were all postmenopausal women drawn from the United States. It was a very diverse population from different states. There have been other studies that have been done with other populations, with men and with younger women, and they found higher glycemic index foods to be associated with depression. In our study, we excluded all the women who were depressed in the beginning and we looked only at new cases of depression. So these women weren't depressed when they reported consuming these foods and they only became depressed later. If you're currently suffering from depression and you're eating a lot of sweets and a lot of refined carbohydrates, that's understandable. Eating those types of foods can make you feel momentarily better. But the problem is is that it can lead to highs and lows in our blood sugar and can ultimately exacerbate the problem or, or make it snowball. When the, when the blood sugar level goes down too low, then it can lead to, to lower mood again and make you want to eat more sweets to, to bring it back up. So giving them up can be difficult, but putting the effort into to trying to give them up and to replace those foods with more healthy alternatives can, pay, can potentially pay dividends in terms of how you feel in your mood.